Hello beautiful people and welcome back. So what we've managed to build up until now is a Django project that extends or uses Bootstrap template. And it looks very nice, but it doesn't exactly work the way Django works. So we're gonna have to split the template into a base and a sub page that extends that base. So where do we start? Having a base like this is not exactly what we want. Base kind of tells you something base will be a base for the rest of the website. So something that is repeatable, something that we don't want to copy code over and over again, especially when it comes to more programmatic approach. If you had like a purely HTML website, well, you probably have to copy over and over again the same code. Um, with Django, you have this ability of having a base that has just one file with just code appearing once. And then if you wanna make a change to it, you just change that one thing in one place and it, it you can see the change across all the pages. So how do we do that? How do we, so what do we split? Where do we split? I suppose something that will appear on every page will be this nav bar and probably we'll be looking at having a footer in there, at least, at least this bit here, at least this bit here should be there. Um, so these could be optional. That could be components that we that we kind of allow um, to be displayed if we want them to be displayed. So let's get let's yeah let's get started with the base. It's relatively easy. The structure that you want to follow, the structure that Django uh, projects usually follow is you have a templates fo folder where you have base file, and inside so next to base file should be folders that are named after um, specific app. So for website, I'm gonna create a website folder inside of templates, and I'm gonna create a HTML file inside called whatever I wanna call it. In this case, I'm gonna just call it index because it's gonna be a, an index of our website. Mm, I'm gonna add it now and Boom, I'm gonna take this out because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the, uh, the content of index inside of this base HTML file, which means I don't need to do all the doc type, HTML, head, whatever. It's gonna be all in here. And all I'm gonna put in is those components that I wanna uh, insert into base HTML. So I, I'm, I'm quite familiar with the structure of templates, uh, of bootstrap templates. They are nicely split, so you can see the structure. We go from the beginning, there is a head, so head is usually in the in the base file. Then body starts, we have navigation, so we wanna keep the navigation, but as the masthead starts, and masthead is usually this big picture or big whatever at the very beginning of, of the web page, and then you scroll down, you have something else. So masthead is already something we wanna take away from here. So I'm gonna start here, so I select it here, and I'm just scrolling down without clicking anywhere. And I want to take everything between here, between there and footer. So I'm going here and here's the footer. Okay. So I can see the footer is quite big. It's not exactly what I, I was looking at copyright section before and the footer it ends here. I suppose I'm going to take the footer away. Then I'm going to just take it up to here. So we only have the copyright section on every page. I suppose we don't wanna see this every time. Or maybe you do. To be honest, it's a portfolio. So we wanna be able to kinda, of, whatever anyone is looking at, they can scroll down and be like, hey, by the way, if you wanna contact me, here is info, uh, contact info, just like this. So I'm gonna go back. I'm using shift for this. So if you're confused, how did I co select it all uh, so quickly? I just use shift. So if you click at the beginning and then you just scroll down and then hold shift and click here, you select whatever, text you want to select from the beginning point where you clicked at the beginning to to this point here. Okay, so I'm going to just now um, command X this um, those components and I'm going to paste them here for now. Um, there needs to be we, we need to add some more text, some some tags, some Django tags in here. But for now, I just want to move stuff from place to place. And I know I used that template before. So I know that underneath the footer and underneath the copyright section, there is a scroll to button and all that stuff that we um, we might want to so scroll to top button, which is oh, which is this, we might want to keep it on every page. So it appears every time if someone is on mobile 
uh, you, you you might want to keep this button there so I'm gonna so I'm gonna leave it in base so but then we have those portfolio models and these are those those models that appear um, JavaScript is taking care of the, the whole animation and the fact that you can see it like a page on page but they need to have its HTML somewhere and that's how they did it they put the models at the very end of the web of, of the code so I'm going to copy it here and I like to track the indentation when I copy stuff so I'm sure I'm not copying something beyond what I want to copy so my cursor is where you know those models start and should end so I want to copy up until where my cursor is okay so yeah I'm safe to copy up to here so this will disappear as well and I can see that's the last portfolio model and it starts here and it ends here so we are copying exactly where cutting exactly what we want to cut okay and I'm gonna paste it all the way down here okay and um, so let's go back to base so what how do we allow putting all this code from index to uh, base HTML we want to do something like block in the in base HTML so do 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 and that should go where that should go above copyright above footer and below uh, navigation and just to stick to the same um, format I'm gonna oop, comment uh, comment and I'm gonna just say content okay so we have those uh, those comments there as well uh, what we are gonna do here we're gonna just write block content and then we need to end block end block okay so what I'm saying here is if there's any like sub page like this one here like this index HTML that is extending this base page we will call whatever content inside whatever content inside of block content will be put in here whatever HTML text HTML code that we put between those brackets in in the index file will be injected in here okay so we're gonna do this I'm gonna go all the way up and by the way we need to load static here as well because we are using static in here and then we want to do something like block content and end block well just to stick to the same format I'm gonna go and do something like this that's gonna be my content okay uh, end block and this will be I'll call it mm, block um, I don't know additional or how can we call it like a there's like a helper code in here so additional uh, or hidden hidden content okay so you'll see that you can you don't have to stick to one you can have multiple injections and block okay so yeah I have to go to back to HTML base HTML and insert our additional okay uh, was it hidden okay and I'm gonna just do something like block hidden content and and block So we should be okay with this. I'm gonna use something like um, how do you call it? Beautify code. So it's Option Command L, and it's supposed to put the indentation in the right position, and it did. So I like it much more. I can see exactly what's going on. So that's our hidden content, and that's our content. Okay. So we should be okay, except for the fact that we are not extending the base yet. So what was the um, what was the um, tag for this one? Extends tag, yes. And uh, in here, we're gonna just say base HTML. And it can, it can say, it can see that base HTML exists in templates folder. 
if I start writing website, we would see how I oh I found this website folder. Press enter dot um slash sorry and then maybe index. But it's just me, so it's, it's not picking it up. Anyway, so base HTML. And I hope if we go here and I refresh, I see nothing because I messed something up. Extends base HTML load static oh yeah okay so for now our views file doesn't know that we are supposed to look at index instead of base so for now it's just going there and saying like okay i see navbar and i see some footer but i don't see any content so i'm just going to show you this and if you're happy with it then i'm happy uh, but we can change that we can just go here and change it to website slash index html now we should see our website and it's exactly the same thing, but it's in a Django format. So you have a base HTML that holds only navbar and it holds only the uh, the footer. And the rest was injected from index HTML and it all works very well. And imagine what kind of stuff you can do with this. Now it's ready for Im implementing some data in there. So we can, we can, calculate something we can change stuff we can do some if statements we can do some for loops here it's going to be great so i hope you're as excited as i am um, you have your very nice bootstrap template working on django and this is great and uh, the, the future of this project is indeed very bright thank you for watching and see you in the next video